bit patient with me as I go through this. Um, I've connected my phone and it takes a bit of a while to refresh sometimes. <clears throat> so I'm not going into the nitty gritty of setting anything up. This is purely to explain and show you how to connect up a Sonoff Mini. And uh, I'm going to give you a picture of a Sonoff Mini on the screen now, if I can. Uh, just hold on a second. Okay, so this is the Sonoff Mini. And if you have a look here, <clears throat> you've got a setting that says switch SW. And we'll switch one and two. <clears throat> now, what's this, what this is designed for is for you to connect your existing switch in your house um, to these contacts over here. And when you turn your switch on or off, it will change the state of this device. Okay, so that's the first device that I wanted to explain to you. So the second thing that you need is a 220 volt relay, and um, I'm just going to bring a 220 volt relay across here. So it looks something similar to this. Um, you're not worried about the amperage or the strength. It must just be two, must support 220 volts. And all you want is for this relay to go on and off. And you'll have two inputs that you need to connect. Um, the one input, the one input would be the um, uh, the power, the 220 volts, uh, which is the coil. Uh, you'll see a picture of the coil. I don't know if I'll be able to show it here, but you'll see a picture of the coil. And, uh, and those will be the two contacts for the coil. And then the second context that you'll look for is normally open, which uh, shows a little picture of a switch. Um, that's, I'm going to show you similar to this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's a perfect picture to show you what I'm talking about. Um, on the actual relay, you'll find something similar to that as far as picture goes. And you'll connect that to those two contacts there. And the other side of the coil, you'll have your 220 volts in. And that you would connect to your... Uh, your ESCOM mains or your municipal mains and that will change the state of the switch when ESCOM is on or off and all that you want is that trigger information on the SONOF and then from there I'll show you how to set up on the software itself. I don't think I need to go into detail with the technical details of this so I can close all of that now and now I'll go into the, onto the, the, the details. Just hold Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is my settings for the Sonoff Mini, um, which I've called Eskim. As you can see over there is Eskim. Just waiting for it to open up on the screen. Okay, now under Eskim, if I go over here to settings, and I have a look here for the switch mode. And what I've set it is follow mode. In other words, it must be on when the switch is on and off when the switch is off. Very straightforward. And if you've connected it normally open, just change it around to normally, normally closed if it's the opposite. Um, at the moment, if you have a look here, you'll see that the ESCOM is on at the moment, which means that my switch is on at the moment. And my relay is on. And what I've done is I've made it that it works on the on the power itself. So the relay is only on when ESCOM is on and the relay is off when ESCOM is off. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Just go to the top, uh, to the, the, the three little dots at the top and then go to the settings and then under switch mode, set it for follow mode. And uh, the, and uh, you can also, if you wired it the wrong way around, you can just click on reverse and reverse will change it to the opposite. And then the other thing that I've also got on um, is that you can communicate it via the LAN and then the third thing is the push notification. The push notification is so that on my cell phone I can get told by the switch when ESCOM is on and when ESCOM is off which is also very handy. And uh, yeah, that's basically it over there and then to show you how you can turn things on and off uh, let me see, what am I turning on and off? I can't uh, remember now. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll give you a, a show now of how it works. So let's say this lounge light over here, I want to turn that on and off based on the um, ESCOM switch. So if I go down here to scenes, and then I say build one now. Okay, sorry, it's a bit slow. Let's go back one. So it comes up with a screen when I push scenes. And uh, I can push auto if you want. Um, actually, yeah, manual. Let's go manual. And we build one now. Then I can say if there is a trigger from a smart device, 
and the devices from Eskom and it turns on and I click save then when Eskom turns on the action that I want is to go to another smart device and I'll say the lounge light and I want to turn that on and then I click save that's my first rule if I want to add another device that I want to turn on I just add it over here with the plus when it says then plus and I say I want to turn for example a pool pump on just for example house pool on so now at the moment I've got when Eskom turns on I must turn those two things on now if I want to I can add another if just push another plus at the top and say that if Eskom turns off See, I think I have to make it as another scene. You can't do it as the same scene. So you save that one and you give it a name and say Eskim on. Okay, so that's that scene. Now I want to do another one. And the second one I can say, uh, not that, but you want a smart device. If Eskim turns off, then turn whatever it is off, whether it be your geezer or whatever it might be. Now there's smart device. Uh, let's see. Well, there's jacuzzi. So no, you can just control anything that you've got that uh, you want to turn on and turn off. Um, Jojo, for example, turn it off. And so you go on. You just add the products to it. And that's basically it. And you'll see when it turns on and off, it'll turn on and off. Hope this uh, assists you, and uh, do give us a call if you need any help whatsoever. Then, Eskom off. Ah, there we go. Then, DB board off. Lights and plugs. Oh. So I have already got a few scenes. That was the office that uh, turns on and off. Um, yeah, but that's it. Let's come on. There's the two. Light on, house full on. Yes, so the last thing I want to show you is the uh, logs for the, the Eskom switch. And the beauty of this is that you can get a good report of exactly what's been happening as far as when it's gone off and when it's gone on so you can see the load shedding day for day I hope this uh, video um, helps you and if you like it uh, uh, and you like more like this please um, give us a like and share this video um, it'll help for, for us to do more videos like this